I say let's stick with Kyle. Let's talk about where his culpability. Uh, today, I asked a question. What happened? Tell what happened today. I, I asked a question, and my question was, because even though the season's over, I want to I want to make him accountable for that loss to Dallas. And look, my question was, it was a bad first question. Kyle, your offense has been beating itself with turnovers the last few weeks. When you go back, do you look at any of those turnovers and say they were avoidable if I had made some different decisions? Kind of a weak question. And he goes, yeah, I always do that. I always review my my all my decisions. I do that every game. Kind of like, screw you. Uh, I'm not going to really answer what you're getting at because you didn't ask it directly. Fair enough. So I come back two minutes later and I with a follow-up, I said, Kyle, okay, uh, the four turnovers against Dallas this weekend. When you go back and watch those, are is there one of them where you would say, yeah, that one was on me? And Kyle, I finally asked it. And Kyle said, he looked to the side. I remember him thinking about it and saying, no, no, I didn't fumble the punt return. I mean, Richie James Jr. fumbled the punt return. And plus, he has a sprained thumb. So that explains that uh, as if he didn't choose who, who the punt returner is. And then after that, you know, when, when Mullins got stripped, he said, that was just a good play by the defense. And then and then the interceptions, I mean, you know, that, was, that wasn't my fault. It's like, really, Kyle? So... When you talk in generalities, yeah, you take a responsibility, but when it's time to actually get specific, it's never your fault. Same thing in the Super Bowl. In two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowls. Guys are open. Yeah, so what he's done, Iggy, I want to get to one play in particular, but what he's done is he said, I'm okay. Things yeah. are okay with me. It's the players. I mean, I want to be real clear what he did. It's the players. Yeah. If you heard it, Players hear it. That's right. I've been around a million football locker rooms. I know how players think. I know everybody thinks it's one happy family and they're really close to the coach. Ah, it's not how it works. They're not pals with the coach. And what they hear is we're playing our tushes off. And this guy says it's our fault as mm -hmm. if he's not involved. Right. And it doesn't mean they won't play hard for him. It may mean they don't like him. And they certainly don't like when he says things like that, nor do you and nor do I. Iggy, let's get to the play, the second and two. Iggy, I don't remember things that well in my dotage. He threw two picks. Was that the first or the second? I'd have to go back and look. He, which one was second and two? I forget. The uh, Jeez, I forget. But there's examples of this. Fumbles on second down. Interceptions on second down. What your offense is weakest at is quarterback and offensive line. You have a great defense. You have a great running game, and you're passing when you don't have well, to. Iggy, wasn't this at the end of the half when they were when they had the ball? End of the first half. This was against Washington. Yes, that was Washington. Uh, yes, they had the ball. They were winning. It was first and ten at the at midfield, and Kyle Shanahan called a pass. Not just any pass. No one in the backfield. Five wide receivers, basically telling the defense we're passing right now. What did they do? They blitzed. No one was open. Uh, Nick Mullins fumbled. So it's like that's these things are preventable with better executive decisions. And Kyle's like, hey, man, he's got to execute. Exactly. And I'll tell you the thing, when he doesn't take responsibility, I mean, Iggy, it seems to me among the picks, well, in against Dallas, in each case, he didn't have a safety occupied. He didn't yes. have – he did it twice, the same thing. I can thing. explain it real quick. I mean, in both okay. cases – you had the first one he was throwing to Jordan Reed running a corner route. And so Jordan Reed's in the slot. There's a wide receiver to the left of him. Had the wide receiver run a deep route at the safety, the safety would have had to cover someone. He couldn't pick off the pass. Instead, Shanahan has him run an out route, and the safety's covering grass looking at Nick Mullins. That's a design flaw. And the same thing happened on the second play, except that time it was a throw over the middle to IU. But the same thing, a backside safety covering no one, reads the quarterback's eyes, jumps the pass. That's a design flaw. Right. So no matter you say, well, Mullins could have thrown it better, probably, or shouldn't yep. have thrown it, probably. Yep. But the point is Shanahan had complicity in that. And he and knows the, it. And the idea that he won't cop to it is very bad. But here's the thing. It's it sounds like we're saying it's morally bad. He won't take responsibility for his actions. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I know nothing about him. He may be a good person. He may be a bad person. But if he can't be honest with you, and if he can't be honest with himself, he'll do it again. 
because right. he hasn't factored it in. He hasn't said, you know, when I do this, it screws up. Yeah. So he's done it in two Super Bowls. He did it twice in this game. He gets reckless when he should run, and he passes or calls. He could have called a screen pass, or he could have had someone occupying a safety. The point is, if he doesn't, isn't honest with himself, he'll do it again, and he does do it again and again and again. I want to make a point real quick. Turnovers, turnovers have been an issue since Shanahan got here for four seasons. It's how he calls plays. He's very aggressive. Turnovers were not an issue the four, the four years Jim Harbaugh was here. It's because he how he and Greg Roman call plays. They're very conservative, extremely conservative. They prioritize not turning the ball over. Kyle Shanahan does it. He needs to own that. And then another thing, he didn't take responsibility for Richie James Jr. fumbling a punt. First of all, if he has a, a sprained thumb, get him out of there. You should know that. Second of all, he's fumbled already this year. He fumbled a punt against New Orleans. Remember in 2011, my first year covering the Niners, the Niners went to the NFC Championship game. They might have won the Super Bowl that year, but Kyle Williams fumbled two special teams plays, and they lost. No one said, hey, you know, Jim Harbaugh, if it wasn't for Kyle Williams, Jim Harbaugh would be a champion. People said, hey, Jim Harbaugh should have known better. Why did Jim Harbaugh let Kyle Williams do that? He should have had someone else back there. He should have known Kyle wasn't ready for the moment. I mean, Jim Harbaugh takes that kind of criticism, but people treat Kyle Shanahan like he's still an offensive coordinator. No, he makes executive decisions, Dad. And, you know, Iggy, they also treat him like he's a little prince. Yeah. He'll start to cry if you criticize yeah. him. Yeah. You know, when someone screws up and he makes the money he makes and he has the prestige he has, he ought to be able to hear an answer, honestly, and he needs to take it. To his credit, he didn't, like, look at me like, who do you think you are answering this question? He doesn't do that. He just answered honestly and said, I'm not responsible. And yeah. so honestly, he needs to look in the mirror. But I appreciate his candor. You know what, Kyle? You're responsible. You're responsible, Kyle. You're at least 50% responsible. That's right. 